Fought for our freedom, veterans, and now two Omaha-based congressional candidates are fighting for their votes. Political experts believe military vets could decide the race in District 2. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Nebraska's 2nd District is one of the few close contests around the country. So close, the military really matters. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Josh Egbert joins us live to explain. Josh. Jen, 35,000 veterans called Douglas County home and another 18,000 in Sarpy County. And statistics show they come out to vote in a big way. Veterans say for them, it's all about their future. Never forget those who serve our nation. And I am a 23-year military veteran. It's all about the veterans when it comes to the congressional race. Because you've got a significant number of active military and retired military. Republican Lee Terry and Democrat Brad Ashford are courting military voters in a race that's expected to be close. This isn't just some group of people that might show up at the polls. These are a group of people that are going to show up at the polls. Larry Gertz served 24 years in the military. He was in Korea twice, but that never stopped him from voting. I voted in every election, uh, including when I was overseas, uh, you know, through the mail for yeah. the last 40 some years. Girl says veterans, both active and retired, have an investment in who wins in November. Congress continually chips away at us, uh, so you need to belong to the military organizations. You need to vote for the people that will support us. But why are both candidates campaigning heavily on those who served our country? Nebraska Watchdogs, Joe Jordan. But there's a lot of people that believe this thing is going to come down to the last couple of days. In a race that's potentially a couple thousand votes apart, obviously, Five or 6,000 veterans votes will make a difference. UNO political science professor Paul Landau says it is unusual for Democrats to pounce on veterans this early in the race, which could show vulnerability on the Republican side. The Republican Mr. Terry feels that he's um, in some trouble with veterans and that the Democrat Mr. Ashford believes that he can make up some ground with veterans because Mr. Terry is in trouble. For veterans like Gertz, he just wants veterans to be informed. Well, it's, it's pretty important uh, to know right before you, you go and what's, what's happening. Uh, otherwise, you're just casting an uninformed vote and, you know, you could vote for the wrong person that's totally anti-military. Professor Landau does expect veterans to be a part of both campaigns until November, but says it will be downplayed for other issues as they start to arise. Reporting live in the studio, Josh Egbert, KMTV Action 3 News.